Taxes rarely stay the same for long periods of time. Policymakers in local, state, and federal governments are always considering raising one tax or lowering another. Here we consider what happens to the deadweight loss in the tax revenue when the size of a tax changes. Our diagram shows the effects of a small, medium, and large tax holding constant the market's supply and demand curves. The deadweight loss, or the reduction in total surplus that results when the tax reduces the size of a market below the optimum, the deadweight loss equals the area of the triangle between the supply and demand curves. For the small tax in panel A, the area of the deadweight loss triangle is quite small. But as the size of a tax rises in panels B and C, the deadweight loss grows larger and larger. Indeed, the deadweight loss of a tax rises even more rapidly than the size of the tax. This occurs because the deadweight loss is an area of a triangle, and the area of the triangle depends on the square of its size. If we were to double the size of the tax, for instance, the base and height of the triangle double. Okay, so when we multiply those together, the deadweight loss is going to rise by a factor of four. If we tripled the size of a tax, the base and the height triple. So whenever we calculate the area of this triangle, the deadweight loss will rise by a factor of nine. So the deadweight loss grows at an exponential rate. The government's tax revenue is the size of the tax times the amount of the goods sold. As the first three panels of our figure show, tax revenue equals the area of the triangle, excuse me, tax revenue equals the area of the rectangle between the supply and demand curves. For the small tax in panel A, tax revenue is small. As the size of the tax increases from panel A to B, tax revenue grows. But as the size of the tax increases from panels B to C, tax revenue falls because the higher tax drastically reduces the size of the market, or that is, the number of buyers and sellers participating in this market. For a very large tax, no revenue would be raised because people would stop buying and selling the good altogether. The two panels, so panels D and panel E, summarize our two results that we've deduced here. In panel D, we see that as the size of a tax increases, its deadweight loss quickly gets larger. In panel E, we show the Laffer curve. The Laffer curve says that as taxes increase, tax revenue will first rise. But as the tax gets larger, the market shrinks so much that the tax revenue starts to fall.